what's up guys Daniel here and I've got another tutorial for you this one is going to be used to love you sober by Kane Brown it was requested by a newcomer Kenny Kozlowski so good luck learning it man it's in standard tuning with the capo on the first fret so go ahead and get your capo on standard tuning and get started with the video so this video is going to be similar to the humble and kind one I made like a week ago it's going to be an easy simplified version first and then I'll show you what I was playing at the beginning if you want to learn the more advanced stuff the chords we're going to be using are E minor C add 9, D suspended 2nd, G, and D over F sharp. Now you're going to want to keep the high E string muted the whole time, so just gently touch it with your index finger. That's what I do, and it won't ring out. So the easy version is going to sound like this. Alright guys, you're going to want to palm mute all these chords while you're strumming. So just gently rest your palm on top of the strings and when you strum down, you're going to muffle the sound of the lower strings and when you strum up, the higher strings are going to ring out. Now the strumming pattern for each of these chords up until the G chord are going to be down, 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 up, and then switch. So starting with the E minor, down, 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 up, switch to C add 9, down, 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 up, and then D suspended 2nd down, 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 up, and then G and the D over F are just going to be a quick down, down, up, down, down, up, strum, and then you're going to repeat. And then at the last part of the verse, you're going to strum an E minor and a C add 9 the same way as you did before, down, 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 up, down, 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 up get to the D suspended you're just going to strum down. So since the first part is played twice I'm going to play that once and then the last part that you play a little bit slower that way you can practice and catch on. So here we go. And that's how you play the easy part of the song the rest is going to be pretty much the same. Now for those of you that want to learn what I was playing at the beginning, that's what this part is for. So it's going to sound like this. And you're going to play that twice. So the chord shapes you want to use here are again going to be the same ones as we did in the intro that I just showed you. E minor, C add 9, G, and D over F. But you're going to use parts of them as opposed to the whole thing. So what I do is I put my middle finger on the 2nd fret of the D string and my ring finger on the 2nd fret of the high E string. And you're going to pluck those two at the same time. And when you do that, you're going to hammer on to the 3rd fret of the high E string with your pinky. And then you're going to take it off and then pluck the 2nd fret of the high E string. And all I do after that part is just slap my hand back on top of the strings, that way it mutes them. And that gives me a second to switch to the next chord, which is going to be C add 9. And then I switch to that chord shape of the C add 9, and I'm going to pluck the 3rd fret of the A and the 3rd fret of the B at the same time. And then I'm going to pluck the 2nd fret of the D string, and then the open high E string, and then I'm going to switch to the G chord. And all you got to do really is move your middle finger to the 3rd fret of the low E string, and then you're going to take your ring finger off the 3rd fret of the B string, and then pluck the low E and the B at the same time. So with that C add 9 chord, After you got to that G, you're going to pluck the open D string, then the open G string, and then you're going to switch to the D over F sharp. And all you need is the second fret of the low E string and second fret of the G string, and you're going to pluck those two at the same time. After that, you pluck the open D and the open B, and then take your middle finger off the second fret of the G string and pluck the open G. So from that G chord, So I'll play it a little bit slower. Now regular speed. And that's just before going into the verse. 
that part is also played in between the chorus and the next verse that follows it. Now I'm going to show you the intermediate version of the verse, and it's using the same chords, like I said, just a different picking pattern. So we're going to start with that E minor chord and you want to use your index, middle, and ring finger on your picking hand on the D, G, and B strings and your thumb is going to pluck the bass notes. So what you're going to do is pluck the 2nd fret of the D, open G, open B at the same time and then you're going to pluck the low E string and then pluck the D, G, and B again and then open E string. So And you're going to pretty much be doing this with all the chords. So with that E minor, switch to the C add 9, and again you're going to pluck the D, G, and B strings, and then your bass note is now the 3rd fret of the A string. 3rd chord is going to be that D suspended 2nd. Now what you want to do with this one is pluck the D, G, and B strings, and you're going to leave the G string open and hammer on to the 2nd fret when you pluck those together. Now your bass note is the D string, so plug the open D, and then 2nd fret B and G, and then the open D again. Then switch to the G, and you're not going to do the picking pattern that you just did before, you're just going to plug E, D, G, B. And then switch to the D over F sharp, so just put your index finger on the 2nd fret of the low E string, and you're going to plug E, D, G, B again. So the G and the D over F are going to go like this. And all together. And then you're going to repeat that again. Now in the next part you're going to do the E minor and the C add 9 the same way. get to the D suspended second chord you're just going to strum it down. Let it ring out for a bit and then mute it just by resting your hand on the strings and then right after strum down again and let it ring out before the chorus. So and then go ahead and start the chorus. Alright the chorus is played the same whether you're a beginner or an intermediate guitar player it's just going to be all strumming. And the chords are going to go E minor, C add 9, G, and then D suspended. It'll sound like this. at the end that there's a C at 9 and a D suspended second just before you go back into that intro part. So the strumming pattern for each chord in the first chord progression is going to be down, 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 up. And these are all unmuted. So E minor, down, 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 up, C at 9, down, 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 up, G, down, 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 up, and then D suspended second, down. The strumming pattern for the next chord progression is a little bit different. It's going to go down, 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 and then you want to switch to the C add 9 and strum up, up, down, 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 up, and then switch to G and go down, 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 up, D suspended second, down, 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 up. And the third one, the strumming pattern is pretty similar to the first part of the second chord progression. It's going to go down, down, down. So you're going to strum a C add 9 down 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then switch to a D suspended second. And you're just going to strum down. Let it ring out. And then you're going to strum it a couple more times before you go back into the verse. 
So all together a little bit slower. So that's how you play the chorus, and then now you're going to learn what would normally be a bridge of a song, but it's just the last chorus played a little bit differently. So just before the last chorus, he starts to say, now you're gone, you've moved on. You're going to start strumming the same way you did as you ended the first chorus. So C at 9, down, 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 and then D suspend the second, down, and let it ring out. And these are all going to be palm muted as well, I should have mentioned that first. but. start the actual last chorus. Now the first part of it has the same picking pattern as the verse did just with the chord progression of the chorus. So it's going to be E minor, C add 9, G, and then D suspended second. Now after that you're going to repeat yourself again a little bit starting with the E minor, C add 9, this time you're just going to strum down on a G chord and let it ring out for a little bit before you start strumming the rest of the chorus, which is actually played the same way as the ending of the first chorus. So, so that last chorus all together. That's how I play all the parts of this song. So as always guys, thank you for watching and thank you Kenny for requesting the song. I hope you were able to learn it. And if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and slap a like on it. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I try to post at least one video each week and you guys are the ones that request these songs. So basically you run this channel. I'm at your beck and call. So go ahead and leave any questions, comments, or requests in the comment box down below. I add to my list and get to them when I can. And I'll see you guys in the next video.